What's up everyone, Jason A. Strange 69 back once again with another diecast review. Tonight we'll be taking a look at another M2 Machines Detroit Muscle Release 44, 164 scale, uh, 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona 440 in Bahama Yellow with semi-gloss black stripe. Of course, once again, if you haven't already seen it, I did review the uh, 71 Plymouth Cuda 446 pack in Snow White on Monday. So be sure to check that video out. Link will be in the description box below for that review. So on to this awesome Dodge Charger Daytona 440. Release 44 Detroit Muscle has been out obviously for quite some time now, but I found these recently laying around, so I figured I'd still showcase them here on my channel because I like M2 Machines. Overall, great brand with some you know, quality control issues from time to time, but I try to look past that if they're not too bad. Overall, this Dodge Charger 440, I think is fairly quality control free. So we'll go ahead and take a look at it. We've got Detroit Muscle and M2 branding on the front here. Car is featured on a base inside a acrylic case, which I will not be removing it from the base for, due to time. Of course, it is limited to, limited to 7,000 pieces worldwide. This side or end, back of it feel free to pause it Re read the uh, details on the m2 machines so yeah that's the packaging go ahead and take it out take a closer look at this awesome dodge charger daytona all right here we are it's a really good looking car it is a uh, as i mentioned a bah bahama yellow it looks a lot like like a mustard yellow in my opinion sitting on redline tires of course they're on this you know nameplate says 69 dodge charger daytona 440 release 44. got the awesome chin spoiler down there on the nose i really the dodge charger is uh daytona is one of my favorite looking cars back to like when richard petty drove it back in the nascar times awesome awesome car that rear wing is something special Really nice detail all through. Of course, there's the uh, detail on the tires. So hopefully you can see the tread and everything on there, but wheels are done nicely. The little uh, side windows here that stick out are really cool. Does have some paint flaws, it looks like right there over the wheels and a little overspray there right next to the door handle in front of it. Overall, those are the only two little things I see does have nicely uh, painted uh, hood pins on the hood and of course you got the f uh, fender deals there to uh, help bottoming out when the car is uh, in motion and suspension travel go ahead and pop open the hood try to anyways all right here is your engine detail nicely done uh, 440 hemi in there Got the radiator detail, battery detail, all sorts of great detail in there. For a 164 scale, that is a nicely detailed engine. I imagine other manufacturers can do better, but for this price point, can't really complain too bad. Got the yellow, uh, the silver trim around the front windshield. Got the windshield wipers. Got charger back here on the roof post. There's your fuel cap on the top of the quarter panel with Daytona. On the side of the uh, semi-gloss black stripe, got the side markers on the car. There's your uh, rear wing, which I believe is plastic. Yeah, it's plastic, which is understandable. It's a separate piece, I imagine, but it is a plastic. Uh, you can see there, plastic rear wing. Rear looks great. No problems with the uh, inserted tail lights on this one. The trim and everything around them look nice. Got charger in between the tail lights. Of course, got I think what looks to be the keyhole for the trunk. Does have a license plate there that says 1969 on it. It's hard to see since it's chrome colored. Black uh, semi black black stripe even continues across the deck lid to the wing. To the other side, there's a little silver paint uh, overspray above the door handle on that one. But nothing too bad on this one, quality control wise. 
I don't like to really harp on quality control, but when you spend money on the products, you kind of hope they uh, aren't too bad. Of course, this does have interior detail, bucket seats. Of course, you can see the shifter in the middle of the uh, there. Really nice. passenger side overall solid car by m2 machines in release 44 yeah the, there you go so yeah that is my review of the m2 machines release detroit muscle release 44 1969 dodge charger daytona 440 in bahama yellow with semi-gloss black stripe on the back if you enjoyed this review, get a thumbs up, subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, I post new diecast reviews Monday and Wednesdays. Sometimes randomly throughout the other days of the week, I will post a short video or a showcase. So be sure to click that subscribe button. Click the bell for notifications so you don't miss out. And you can find me absolutely everywhere on social media at Jason A Strain 69 So be sure to follow me on those. So thanks for watching. Have a great night, everyone. See you next time for an all-new Diecast Review. Bye.